Welcome to this section. So we'll be continuing where we ended off. And um, in this particular section, um, I like this part because we'll, we'll see how we can make this, um, this blob uh, move, this player of ours move. I'll in fact rename this guy and, and, and just call him player, right? Instead of um, calling it the purple monster all the time, that's yeah, that's too much. So, to do that, we'll first have to come to our script here. Um, we'll be using keyboard input in this case. And so, um, the way around this is, first of all, we need to listen um, for these, um, these keyboard events. So, this is pretty easy. You do an event listener. So, it looks like this. So cc dot system event dot event type dot key down if you want to listen for a button that gets pressed down or key up if you want to listen to a button that gets released. So we'll do both. First we'll start with key down, then we'll be calling the the on key down function that we've not yet created then this okay we will then create another one system event dot on then we'll say system event dot event type dot key up when when the player releases then yeah so we'll be calling this this dot on key up okay and then we'll say this. So these two methods are not yet created, but what's happening in this, these lines of code, I'll just add a comment maybe. Um, so basically what's going on is that um, our, 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 our system is going to be listening for when a, a, a key is pressed in this in this line and then when this key is pressed uh, we're going to run a function called on key down then when the user lets go of that key the system is also going to pick it up and then run another function on key up so let's go on and create those functions so we'll say on key down as the first one takes in an event as a parameter Okay, then we'll go on and write um, what should what should happen. What keys are we interested in? Okay, so we'll do that by filtering them with um, with a switch statement. So the event dot key code carries the actual um, the key that's been pressed. So we'll say case cc dot macro dot key all right then if we want we could pick any key from the keyboard there all right i will use a okay and then i will also be listening to d case dot cc dot macro dot key dot d all right then i'll break for now all right so now what will be happening is if A is pressed, we pick it up. If D is pressed, we also pick it up. But since we want this player to be able to move uh, left and right, left and right, so we will have to set um, some properties there, or we can even create them there and then let the warning come. And then when the warning comes, we can then um declare the property from that error so a will push it to the left if you want you can use the left arrow key there um, you could use left that's completely fine but i'll go with um, a so accelerate towards the left this is going to be true so this does not yet exist so i will click on it then click the highlight then declare the property, which then will come there, accelerate left. So this one will then be accelerate 
right and then this is also going to be set to true then it's not yet declared so we'll click on it then click the light bulb then we'll declare the property then we'll have it appear there accelerate right so what this means then is when the user presses the a then um, accelerate left is going to be true if they press d accelerate right is going to be true but this is still not doing much i will, I will copy that and then change it to make our on key up function so on key up and then on key up is basically doing the same only that this time when the player releases so when the player releases we will then say accelerate left should now be false because the, the key has been released so if the key has been released then uh, we, we stop accelerating all right yes so with those um, with those done like that we'll then proceed um, to the next section we'll make sure that when starting the game is going to have have them originally set to to false okay to have them set to false so do that then this dot accelerate right will also be false just so that it's not moving the moment it starts all right then we'll also put an acceleration um, it will put a velocity all right like how fast do we want it uh, moving left or right so this dot x speed this dot x speed will be set to zero this does not exist yet so we'll click on it and then declare x speed which will then bring us to three new properties there okay so our acceleration speed is zero we'll check how many properties we have now on the player okay so let's see okay so since uh this is not uh declared as an individual property it doesn't seem to be to be showing up okay so we'll then proceed and write something in our update since we want it to move okay uh, maybe let me save that for the next section so for now all we'll do is just print to the screen and say um, console.log just so that you see that it's 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 doing something um, okay i will say pressed a and then okay pardon me for that we will have oh my god all right we'll have that we'll have that so this one will be pressed d then this one will be let go of a this one will be let go of d okay so we'll run that it's not going to move the player just yet but what what it will do is basically um, show that it's able to pick up those key presses um, down there okay okay so i'll clear this all right and then put this here so that we see those messages so i'll press my a button right now i okay when i let go you can see the a has been let go message i'll press the d as well and then when i let go it's also going to to say that right so um i'll scroll down you can see press d let go of d right so if the system is able to pick up um the key presses you could you could you could filter any key that you like on the keyboard 
it's quite extensive. Um, so in the next section, we'll then make this affect where this uh, blob is going to be. Okay, so when we press A, it will move it to the right, I mean to the left. Then when we press D, uh, it's going to move it uh, to the left. So this is where we'll end in this one. Um, catch you later, guys. Hope this is helping you um, with the Cocos Creator Game Dev journey. Comments and like um, the video um, helps out a lot.